Uh, welcome back. My name is Robert, and this is the eighth in a series of my cubicle quad project. Uh, I'm just trying to pick up a few loose ends. Basically, today, what I want to do is install these two inch nylon black tips that actually support the wire. Uh, they're held on with mainly friction because it's a pretty close tolerance on these things, and a little bit of hot glue. So, I'm going to get started and uh, see how long this takes and there's a couple more things I wanted to show you uh, so let's start doing this and see what happens basically just make sure your glue gun is really hot and got glue in it squirt a little bit on the tip a little bit there put this on and tap it down until it seats and that's about it just set it aside Last time I did this was a year ago in the first quad that I put together and uh, it seemed to work out pretty good. There's positive pressure on these tips all the time because of the wire. Uh, let's see. So the chances of them coming off are pretty slim and when you cap those down you can actually feel it when it hits the bottom so you know you've gone far enough. And let's see if we can keep this thing going pretty good here. I did drill a little hole here to let the air out because it's so tight that when you tap it down, the air has to either compress or get out somewhere. It makes it a little bit easier, I think, to just put that little hole in so the air can get out. And it's not big enough for any rain water to get in there. And if you live in northern climates, you know that water, rain turns into ice and it expands and sometimes can do strange things if you live in part of the country that has that type of a problem. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of a concern, but I don't think that little hole will bother too much and it makes it go on a little bit easier. So it seems to be working out all right. Uh, the only other thing I have besides this, other than actually putting the quad together and stringing the wire, is the small project block with the coax actually goes onto the, the uh, antenna. It goes through the project block with two wires and it hooks to the, the uh, end of the two loop wires for the driven element. And a little thing I've got to do to kind of make it go on together a little easier, just a matter of measuring. I'll show you what that's all about as soon as we get done here. All right, we're making progress. We don't run out of hot glue. Hot glue is pretty good stuff. It's not quite as good as PVC cement, but works pretty good. Okay, one more to go. A little bit stringy when the strands come off, but hey. There we go. All right, we're going to make it just enough hot glue. I got some other sticks here if I needed them, so. But you got to lower them in. All right. I don't know if you noticed it, but this is the one where your wires actually attach. There's a little eighth inch hole here, eighth inch hole here. The wire comes from each side, and you end up with a little, little bit of a stub here and here. Strip it down, you hook it to the two wires that come out of the project box. And that project box is right here. I just wanted to show you what I'm thinking of it. It's got two little uh, U-clamps that bolt right here. And this cuts the strip back and it's hooked to the two little tabs here, sawed it on. And there's some coaxial shield that goes over the top. This one comes up to one side and it's just locked in place. And the other one, the shield is movable and that's how you adjust the SWR by exposing more or less of this final wire and it helps to have the SWR meter and uh, uh, it'll work out pretty good. Mine did last year. And